Hi everybody, thank you for clicking back on my video. Today I'm going to be sharing what we got our son Ethan for his ninth birthday. Um, his birthday is next week on Wednesday on May 6th. Today is Thursday, April 30th, and I can't believe it's the last day of April already. But yeah, I want to share with you my last video I had shared what we had purchased for his decor haul. And at the end of this video, I actually have a few things that I forgot to add in on that video or we hadn't yet received it on either Amazon or I believe we ordered off Oriental Trading Company. So I will be adding those things in at the end. But today is just going to be his gifts and a few of them we cannot fit in the shot. Um, the first one is a 46 inch basketball court. Um, we got that off Walmart. I actually had to go in store for that because it was sold out a lot, I guess, because everyone's at home. They're, you know, buying the basketball courts, buying all the gym equipment, stuff like that is all gone. Um, so I still happen to find one left in that size when I went one night. And that was $149 plus tax. So we're going to be setting that up on Tuesday night. So when he wakes up on Wednesday, he has his basketball court. And then also we have a violin. He's been asking for a violin for months. Um, he's been on YouTube watching all the videos, stuff like that. And so we ordered it. We've been waiting for about a few weeks now, two weeks maybe. And we got it in today, just a few hours ago. And we're excited. And my husband opened it and it was not the quality we're expecting. It was not good quality. Um, the strings were like not tight enough, stuff like that. So we're going to send that back. And we also, um, we're just going to reorder a new one from somewhere else. So those are his big gifts. Um, hopefully the other violin will come in sooner them later so hopefully by his birthday we can get it in but so his big gift is his basketball court and his violin um and then i'll show you all the like smaller things we had purchased for him for his birthday so he is eight years old now he is going to be turning nine so hopefully this helps you um just you know have some gift ideas for your young children and a lot of it i did get on sale and i'll kind of go over all the pricing and where i got it from throughout the video so let's get started so the first thing is the pop figurines. I don't know if your kids or if you guys are into these. I know my husband likes collecting these all of a sudden too. He likes collecting more of like the musicians and Ethan is into collecting Fortnite. Well, he wants to collect Fortnite ones. He has only like three or four of them now. So he had stopped playing Fortnite for a while and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, you know what? I want to play Fortnite again and I want the figurines. So I found a whole bunch of these on hottopic.com um, about a month and a half ago. I want to say like the middle of March and I went on there really late around midnight one night and they were running a sale. So most of these were like $3.99. I think they're getting rid of a lot because they were probably coming out with like a new series. So we got the tomato head. And so I grabbed them and I had checked on um, GameStop.com before I went on Hot Topic and they were also on sale, but someone must have went on there right before me and literally bought all of them. And the ones that were on there were either full price and they're like about 12 or $13 each or um, they were a few dollars more than Hot Topic and it's for the same figurine. So I just went on Hot Topic and placed my order there. So then they also have the Panda Bear Fortnite and these were, I want to say they're all between $3.99 and $5. I think one of them I paid $7 was the most. Um, but yeah, I think this one, it was either this one was $7 or another one. I think it was the other one. But yeah, they were all pretty cheap. So for eight pop figurines, I think I paid with tax $42. So that's amazing if you know how expensive these could get. So these are all the Fortnite ones. So I thought that was a, a great deal compared to like $12 or $13 each. I mean, yeah. If it was $12 or $13 each, I probably just would have grabbed him like two or three. But I figured... $39 plus tax, that was a great deal. And then this one's my favorite, the Moonwalker. And like, I thought that's so cute because he's having like a space theme. And then, you know, the Moonwalker, I thought it was so cute. And then I think this is the one I might've paid $7 for. I'm not too sure, but I'm assuming, I think it was this one. And that's still a good deal. And then he also is into Apex. And I really don't know what that is. I know what Fortnite is, but not Apex. And I kind of just threw it out there like, oh, what do you think of this um, pop figurine? And he's like, oh, I like that one. And it's more like a samurai looking one. He has like a little top knot, so cute. I thought that was so cute. So those are the pop figurines. So those are eight of them. And then um, I'll move on to next what I found at Walgreens a few months ago. I want to say either back in October or November, they were having 90% off. And I had went in, I guess they had, a, I didn't even know, they had a whole line of, um, 
like it's called over the moon it's space theme and so when I went in it was my lucky day I grabbed a whole bunch and I'm so glad I didn't grab it all because I was gonna go crazy and grab like all the goodie bag favors and all kinds of other stuff and I mean I would have been stuck with it not knowing like now that the coronavirus hit and we're in quarantine so I just had grabbed Ethan a few things and I'm glad I did so um, like I said it's from called over the moon and I grabbed him this it was um, it's a rock painting set paint your own moon rock so I thought that was so cute includes five real rocks five paints a brush set and two transfer sheets and a sponge and he loves to do like arts and crafts stuff like that and him and cash could each paint some rocks together and then they could put them out either in the yard or just he could collect them put them on his um, display bookshelf and then I also found this it is a like a robotic what is it called robotics it's a rover explorer and it's a little bit more advanced looking than like legos for him and it's from ages six plus but i thought it was so cool because it's like you know something that looks like it will go on the moon so i thought that was really cool for him this was also 90 percent off i don't think i paid more than like five dollars and under for everything well each thing not everything but each thing was like five dollars or under and then I got him from the same lines called Over the Moon. And I never knew Walgreens has like different lines until I went in and they have like under the sea, sea theme, um, space theme, unicorn theme. I didn't know that. I only literally go into Walgreens A, to develop photos off my phone or just to pick up like a medication or something because it's right down the street. But I never go in there and look at like this kind of stuff. So I thought that was amazing. Um, these are light up slimes and I don't know if you can see it. I had to pull the tab, but they do light up and there's like little aliens in there. So I thought that was so cute. Him and Cash could go outside during this time and just play with their slime. And they have different like settings for the lights. So I thought that was really, really cute. And I was gonna grab like all of these and hand them out in the goodie bags. And I'm so glad I didn't get stuck with a whole bunch of slime because if you're a parent, you know, you don't want too much slime in your house. And then I also found these little plushies. And I only grabbed two. Um, I know he'll share with his brother Cash, but I thought they were so cute and they light up and they say little things. I'll just do this one. So this one's an astronaut. And it's from the same line over the moon. So they had an astronaut, an alien, and I don't remember if they had another one. They might have, and I think it might have been dirty, so I didn't grab it. But I just, oops, sorry, it's backwards. I just grabbed one of each of these. I put that there and then um like i mentioned in my last video with his um birthday decor haul he loves like outer space he loves stationery he loves collecting stickers notebooks markers like literally his whole room is full of that stuff and he has like a little container for all of it but this one i found it's called um the galaxy gel pen and journal set so i grabbed this and i thought that was so cute you know kids love to write their own little notes has a journal he just loves stuff like this and then I also found from the same line over the moon it's a travel desk and activity set and so I thought you know with homeschool right now he has a Chromebook or a computer laptop and he can put this on his lap and then do his work on his lap so the you know the Chromebook doesn't get his lap hot and then it also comes with um, coloring sheets stickers and a few markers all together and also um, we do go to the beach in the summer so like if we were in the car he could take this with him and just have it on his lap and doodle with and it has like little compartments where he could store his markers and pens and then all the little stuff back here and you can see a little bit better of a picture there so I thought that was so cute and I think this one was maybe like three or four dollars also and then from that same line he does have um, usually I like to string like lights across his bed because he does have a higher bed um, bedboard or backboard and so before he had like just regular color light bulbs and this one is actually astronaut theme it has spaceships astronauts and like little planets and they do light up I don't know if you could see that but I thought that was so cute to put in his room for springtime or summer just at night he likes to sleep with a little light on so I thought this would be cute to add to his room and that was only a few dollars and then from Target actually during Easter time they came out with band-aids so Every kid needs band-aids and I found them in space theme and I was going to put them in his Easter basket and these were only a dollar 
but I had went overboard with his Easter basket. So I just saved these for his birthday because I figured space theme, it could go with all his stuff. And then um, I did get him a pair of pajamas just the other day at Walmart. I forgot, maybe like three days ago when I went to go grab some stuff. And I was looking for space theme pajamas, birthday pajamas, birthday pajamas, pajamas for his birthday. And I did find some on Target, but I seen him in person at our Target and they sold out of his size. And then when I went online, um, they were going to take kind of a long time. Target tends to take a long time with clothing, like to mail it to you. So I just didn't want to wait. So I went into Walmart. I couldn't find any space theme, but I found Star Wars. So he loves Star Wars. And we went to Disneyland um, January 1st. So on New Year's Day this year, we went to Disney for two days. And we went and visited the new um, Star Wars area that just came out. And that was like his highlight there. So he loves Star Wars. Actually, his bedroom is Star Wars theme. And these were 1078 and it just comes with like the Star Wars shirt. And then I like to get him shorts during spring and summer just cause he tends to get really hot at night. So um, got a new pajamas, especially with the quarantine. He likes to either stay in pajamas all day or just like, um, like workout comfy clothes, like his little gym shorts and easy shirts. He doesn't ever like to get dressed, he says. So um, I got him new PJs. And then the last thing I think from Walgreens that was like in the space theme line was this light up little rocket. And I loved it. It was the only one or else I would have got cash one, but I know Ethan will probably give us the cash and he'll run around that whole day with the little rocket. So this was so cute. I had to grab it. And then let's see what else. We'll move on to the few things I forgot about his, um, for his birthday boxes, like party favors. So from Walgreens also a few months ago, maybe about a month and a half, two months ago, I found these um, strings. And I don't know if you've ever playing with these and you could do like different shapes in your hand. Um, it says as seen on YouTube. So I don't know if that's like a YouTube star or something that came out with this, but these were like $7 each. And I believe I got them at 90% off. They were coming up 79 cents. So um, I grabbed all of them that they had for, in my head thinking like party favors. So I grabbed like I think 13 or 14 of these. And we are having his birthday parade with all his cousins coming by for his birthday. And I believe there's like 12 kids coming. So all these are gonna go in the goodie bags. And I thought these were so cute. And I mean, I used to love playing with these. It just will give them something to do. And I think it's something fun to add to it. And then another thing I found actually, is this was um, after Valentine's Day. It's just these little flutes. And these are pretty much the same colors you find in the party section year round. So I grabbed them in the thoughts of thinking his party favors. It's, uh, it comes in an eight pack. And so I have two packs here, but I think I bought like quite a bit because I remember thinking like I'm going to buy for his birthday and also for Valentine goodie bags next year for his classroom. So I have two bags. So that'll be a total of 16 to give the kids in their goodie bags. And also with Valentine's Day, I know a lot of people think like, oh my God, why are you buying all that Valentine's Day stuff? But I always think ahead. So even though these have, oops, sorry, the glare, Valentine's Day cards, it has a telescope. So I was already in the mindset of his birthday. So I remember a telescope, space. I thought this would be so cute to put in the goodie bags. So I'm just gonna take out all the telescopes and then keep the Valentine's Day cards for like um, next year for little goodie bags for his classroom also. And then, so that's it I think for goodie bags. Besides, you know, actually yesterday I went to Smart and Final and I bought a big tub of Starburst candy because I'm trying to keep his goodie bags space theme only, but I had to add in a few little things that weren't space theme. Um, and also little individual containers of Pringles. I thought that's really cute. And I probably will end up going getting the kids um, individual juice um, little packs to put in the, the goodie bags just because they're driving. Everyone's driving kind of from far. And I thought that's like a good little snack just to for them on the way back home, just they're gonna come celebrate Ethan and they can't really like get out and stretch their legs or anything. So just give them a nice little goodie bag for them. And um, I mentioned on the last video from Oriental Training Company, I had ordered these cupcake toppers or actually you could use them for food also, like if they're doing like a cheese tray. I think that's how they might have had it displayed too. But I am gonna make him cupcakes for his um, cake table, display table. Um, since we have everything, like I said in the last video, I'm still going to do that. And then this was also from Oriental Training Company. It is the treat boxes that I was telling you guys about. It has like the black handles. I really couldn't explain it the last time. And then I'm going to hang the twine and the chalkboard tags off of that. And then custom make them with the astronaut stickers. 
So um, I have purchased 12 of these and I believe these were $5.99 for 12. I'm sorry, and the cupcake toppers were, I believe, $2.99 on sale because I seen the same exact ones on Amazon and they were $6.99. So I went back to Oriental Training Company and have purchased these there. And I forgot to grab them, but I also had um, purchased his um, astronaut space theme sucker. So it comes with the astronaut, a rocket, and a planet. And those were, I think I misquoted in the last video. I said it was 12 for 9.99 or 36. It was actually 12, so one dozen suckers for $9.99. So those ones, I don't know if I'm gonna put in the treat boxes or I'm gonna use as display for his cake table yet. So I haven't decided. Um, but my sister, hi Michelle, shout out to you if you're watching my video. She always helps me with printouts for the kids' parties. So this is a good way, I think, to add to your treat or your decor tables without having to go over budget, like order special prints off Etsy or do stuff off of um, Pinterest. I actually found these on Pinterest and it was like a free download. So I found this astronaut print and these were five by sevens, but she's gonna make these in, um, eight by tens for me so I could fit them in the frames and just put them on this table. And then she also printed out these ones. She printed out extra for the boys to color the day of his party, which I thought was so cute. It gives them a, um, a space theme activity to do. And then that's also a good idea if you have a lot of kids coming and you can't like do a whole bunch of like goodies or treat boxes, you can always do printouts and then just buy crayons and have them do activity at a table. So we have that print. And then this one's like under the sea theme astronaut. I thought that was so cool. It has like the little koi fish hanging off his helmet. So we have those prints. We're gonna blow those up um, into eight by 10 to do on the treat tables. And then these ones the boys could actually color the day of. And then now I wanna show you a few of the gift wrap bags and stuff I had purchased for him. So honestly, I have been purchasing stuff for months and I forgot I had found a number nine, but in silver and I had showed the gold one in the last video. So I probably will be using the silver instead of the gold because it matches his theme a little bit better. And then yesterday I had went into Dollar Tree and I found this actually with the Mother's Day section. I was gonna check out and I happened to just like, let me look at this stuff because they had some uh, Mother's Day gift wrap bags and stuff over there. And these were hiding and I thought that is so pretty and matches all the you know theme of outer space with him. And so this is a whole line that Dollar Tree is doing. So if you see this, grab it because this stuff sells out so fast. It does only come with four sheets, but I feel like it's worth it because it's so pretty. And then with that same stuff, like the holographic, I found both these bags yesterday. And they carried this bag like really a dollar, you guys. If you go to Target or somewhere else, especially Target or Hobby Lobby, these are like 2 to $3 each, if not more. But I found this one in silver holographic. And they also did have this in um, a pink holographic, a purple, and like a really, really pretty blue. So I found that one. And then this one's actually different shapes. And I believe they had another shape in this in holographic print. And also they carried the different colors in this one. But I just stuck with the silver because I liked that one. And then I found these a few months ago at Dollar Tree. And I grabbed them. So I don't know if they carry these anymore. But this is like... A rocket ship with the crocodile and it says blast off and it kind of has like the silver speckles and then this one is a spaceship and it says have it have an out of this world birthday and it's a you know looks like an alien spaceship or ufo and i thought that was so cute you know just to go with his theme and then yesterday i actually found this one also even though it has like red lining and like red characters i liked how it had the silver um let's party um just because i feel like it goes with all the other silver aspects of his gift wrap and like i said in my last video i'm really like ocd when it comes to um wrapping gifts in the theme of someone's party or get together like my friend had a baby shower a few months ago and her theme was boho and i wrapped all her gifts in boho theme and actually you know what i have that on my instagram story if you guys want to check that out um, gift wrapping ideas and diff different gift wraps and where I purchase everything from. So I like this because of the robots and it looks like, you know, space theme. And then one last gift bag I had purchased actually at Five Below back in October when I went to go look for some Halloween stuff I was looking for, Halloween decorations. And I found this one bag. They only had one left or else I would have bought them. This one was $2, but it is a bigger bag. And it just has like the black on the inside or the sides. 
And then the last few things, so that's it for Ethan's um, birthday gifts, besides the basketball court, obviously that's too big, and the violin. And then um, this was one of his backdrops I was telling you guys about, I had purchased a while ago, uh, but it was just too big to take upstairs when I was filming in the room. And then we got in his tent today. So it is shaped as like a, a spaceship, astronaut spaceship, and I'm gonna take some photographs of him in downtown where we live. Um, with his astronaut costume on just to have display. And we usually take them professional um, pictures for their birthdays and since so this year everything's closed, I'm just gonna do it myself. So I ordered this off Amazon, we got it in today. And then we also got in um, another backdrop, but it's just too big to hold up right now. But I will be posting that on my Instagram story probably starting tomorrow on Friday, May 1st. I'm gonna kind of go um, slowly on my Instagram and post like as I'm doing it, his birthday prep and birthday decor. So if you guys wanna follow me there, you can for some more ideas. But let me show you what else I forgot to show you last time and what I also bought at Dollar Tree. So this is the line I was telling you guys about the holographic line from the last time. How pretty is that? And I went and they were sold out of everything at the two Dollar Trees I usually shop at. So this went really, really fast. That's this, like a little serving tray where I'm gonna put his fruit in for his pancake breakfast. And then this, I'll figure out something. I'll probably put something in here because it's really, really pretty. And then these are just two like trays you could use for like, if you're doing pretzel rods for um, a birthday table or Rice Krispies, Oreos, all kinds of different things, even fruit trays. These were really, really pretty too. Like, look at that. Anything, like if you're having a tea party, unicorn theme, mermaid theme, space theme, this is just so versatile. I love it. And then yesterday, I found these at Dollar Tree and I just could not pass them up for a dollar. Like I bought stuff at Party City for way more for like four or five dollars each. And these have like, it, they show gumballs, but you can literally put anything for candy buffets, treat tables, anything you want in here. And I thought so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use these for his birthday, but I definitely had to buy these because I knew if I didn't buy them, they would have been gone. And there was only maybe like six left and I grabbed two of them. And then I also been looking for party poppers at Dollar Tree and um, the 99 for a few weeks and they've been sold out in their regular party section. So I seen at Dollar Tree yesterday their graduation graduation section and they had the party poppers. So I'm not sure what color confetti. I'm assuming it might be gold and white. I don't know because that's kind of what they show on there, but I'm not sure. But it says um, shoots confetti and streamers. So I just thought that is so cute for his birthday just to have like you know, him shooting some streamer or like when he comes down the stairs, we could say like, happy birthday and pop the poppers. And then yesterday also I found this letter board. I have a light up letter board, but I wanted this black one and it was the last one. So I'm so happy I got my hands on it. And they also carried it in gray. Um, I seen this about a week ago and I passed on it. And then I was like, oh my God, I need another letter board because I'm doing two tables for him. And I'll, just, I'll post all that on my Instagram story. And so I'm so happy they still had it and I grabbed it so fast for a dollar, you cannot beat that. And then also from the graduation section at Dollar Tree, they had paper lanterns. If you can see there, I want to hang these from the ceiling so they look like planets. And it comes with two, I thought it only came with one. And it looks like a smaller size here and then a larger size. So I'm not too sure if it's two different sizes or that's just how the picture is, but it does come with two. So I got two packs of the black. And then I also got that in a really pretty like silver tone. You can see like how it has kind of a sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. And maybe you can see the silver better. So I'm gonna hang these from the ceiling and then um, I had bought holographic um, falling stars you can hang from the ceiling. So I'm gonna hang those in between. And they also carried this in like a dark vintage gold. But I was almost tempted to buy the gold, but I was like, okay, I don't need the gold. Let me not buy that. So I bought those for his party and then I also grabbed some wrapping paper. So I found this and they did carry this in different colors, the holographic wrapping paper. They carried it in like a white fluoresce, uh, like a pearl color. And I had bought that one before and I used it, I believe when my niece or someone had like a mermaid party, but I thought this was really pretty to wrap one of his gifts in. So I grabbed that one and I think they carried it in a purple also. And then I had found this paper and it says banner art paper and it was with actually like the teachers section because I have these um display boxes I want to use to obviously for his cake to make you know like a little display on um 
but they're printed so I wanted to just wrap it in plain white so it kind of matches this the theme but I was like I bought this and I realized like oh what if this doesn't fold as good as wrapping paper so then I found oops yesterday oh no almost knocked my phone over um all white gift wrap and it, I mean it had a little rip right here but this is the only one I could find so I grabbed this one here so hopefully that works out I mean that's my thought um let me show you I have the box actually for the rocket since you guys can't really see it here but it is pretty big I ordered this off Amazon and it was 35 and then if you want you can order the balls with it separate or you could just go you know to your local Walmart or Target or order offline and find those but um I'm gonna buy some of those later because I know um Cash will love that so that is everything. Um, like I said, stay tuned for my, you know, party prep. I probably won't have time this week to do any party prep video. So I'm probably going to be posting a lot of that on my Instagram story and I'll save it all. So you guys could go there and check it out. But that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.